I tried a new camera for this video and somehow it just cut off some of the clips uh, when I was unpacking the, the, the rod uh, so please bear in mind uh, but I think you get the picture. Hi this is Jens from Tricic 3D Printing. In this video I'm going to install a supporting rod set for my Creality CR10. Uh, a few days ago I was printing an object with 75% infill um, fast honeycomb and the whole machine was shaking uh, so I hope that installing this set maybe uh, could make the printer more s stable uh, so it doesn't shake uh, that much when I print it so this is what this video about is installing that support mod So, let's open the box and see what's inside. There's a instruction that's to be mounted at the top, and those I have to put be put together and like this. And yeah, okay, it seems easy to do. Let's see what this is. Okay, those have to be mounted at the top, like this, and a lot of screws. Yes, those, uh, I think those are together, those are this. This is to cut a thread. Okay, and this, I think this is the tool to, yeah, this is the tool to use with this so I can thread a hole in the printer. And these are the rods. Uh, I need a knife. So, we have to mount those two in the top of the gantry. Uh, let's take out this and like this. And the other side. I'm not sure they, that, I, that they should be there. I think it's just like this. That should be okay. Yes, let's see. Put in a screw and like this. That was one. Next, like this. And let's mount it on the frame like this so that was the first one let's take the next one Yes, and let's see if we can get it. Yes, looks absolutely fine. Like this. Okay, so the next thing we have to do is to thread those holes. And okay, in order to Secure it and the bottom frame. 
we have to take out those plugs over there front and we have to make a thread and we do that with this fine tool there is a hole already we just have to thread it now we just have to make sure that it is straight It's looking good so far. Ah, that was good. I can feel some resistance. Let's see. I think it's okay. Let's get it out again. It's probably not, you know, first class tools. <laughs> no, it, look, it looks like it's broken. So, well, nah, I don't think this is good enough. I do have a tool like this myself. Because I don't know, it looked like it looked like it's it's just broken. This should be aluminium, so this should be easy to to thread it. But I don't know. Uh, I, have to, I have to do it like this. So let's try the other one. To see if it's. Or else I also have to go up and find I have the right tools so I can do it. Because <clears throat> this is tool from China. I'm not sure how good it is. Don't break. <laughs> if it breaks, I'm in trouble. Now, I don't think this is okay. I don't think it, it will work. No, it's totally ruined. No, this is not good enough. I have to go and find another one like this. I'm sorry to say, but this is crap. So if you go to buy this set, don't use this. So I got another tool for my own my own tool, so I hope this is better. So let's try. Let's try to cut threads into this, into the frame. Somehow, I don't know why, but it's like it's not cutting. It's like nothing's, I don't know. I don't feel that it's going in. Uh, no, this is, I don't know why. This is crap. <sighs> Let's see if it if it works. Yeah, I can put it in a little. So you have to see if that's. Oh, I have to put in some washes. Let's try the other one. Oh 
come on, crap. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, this tool is also crap. Use this. This is also crap. Uh, I guess we should not use Chinese. Uh, <laughs> I cannot even take it apart. So never mind. Uh, yes. Yeah. Next step. So the next part is to put those on. I don't need those. So I don't know. Let's see how it works. Excuse me, I've not done this before. And let's see if we can fit in here. Actually, this and do like this and like this. Okay. Okay. Next one. Probably more up here. Yeah, you cannot tighten it that much because that thread is not. It's not that good, and I think we have to tighten those nuts. Like this. And like this. And tighten this even more. Okay. Oh, it feels like it's, what do you call it, sturdy. A little more there, and this one here is and this one. So I don't know. It feels okay. Besides that one, you see, I can. That's not good, but. I don't know. Let's see. It's installed now. So here you can see it's printing that uh, fast honeycomb. It looks like it's much more stable now after installing those support rods. So I think this is a good upgrade. So that was it. 
with that video for that supporting rod set. All in all, I didn't take long and it was easy to to install. The only thing was that crap Chinese tools. You see, I, can, I cannot even take it apart. Crap, 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 crap. And a few spare parts. So, if you have any questions, ask me in the comments. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, thumbs down. And if you want me to make more videos like this uh, about 3D printing, please subscribe. Uh, nothing else to say, and see you in the next video. Keep printing.